And world leaders have called for a thorough probe into what caused the explosion at the Al Ali hospital that killed hundreds of people. Now the blast is drawing condemnation from across the Arab world. Several protesters rallied across West Asia condemning the attack against unarmed and defenseless people. In West Bank, protesting Palestinians set barricades on fire. Palestinian security forces in Ramallah fired tear gas and pounded grenades to disperse the protesters. Amidst the protests, the Palestinian Health Ministry reported that the Israeli forces even shot dead two Palestinian teenagers. This as the two sides have blamed each other for the explosion on the hospital. <laughs> In Lebanon, over 100 protesters gathered near the U.S. Embassy in Beirut carrying Palestinian flags to show their solidarity with the victims of the attack. The protesters waved Palestinian flags through rocks at security forces and chanted slogans. In Yemen's capital city of Sana'a, hundreds of demonstrators took to the streets to protest against the attack on the Gaza hospital, showing their solidarity with the victims of the attack. People waved Palestinian flags and chanted slogans. Hundreds of demonstrators of a group called Coordination Framework gathered in central Baghdad. The protesters staged rallies near a bridge that connects the heavily fortified Green Zone, housing many of the government and foreign embassies. <laughs> In Turkey, demonstrators held fresh anti-Israel demonstrations outside the Israeli consulate and near the U.S. consulate in Istanbul. Earlier, the Turkish security forces had used pepper spray and water cannons to disperse protesters. Şu an bütün İslam alemi ve vicdanı olan bütün insanlık bu ateşi yüreğinde artırıyor. İsrail'in gelecek nesilleri açısından bu çok kötü. Önce kendisi yanacak. Several European and African nations also witnessed protests in solidarity with the Palestinians killed in Gaza. In Italy, many pro-Palestinian supporters held a vigil in Rome against the Israeli retaliation in the Gaza Strip and a blast that killed hundreds. Similar protests were witnessed in the Greek capital city of Athens. In Tunisia, hundreds took to the streets protesting what some call genocide by Israel in its continued pounding of Gaza. Meanwhile, in a display of solidarity, hundreds of Jewish peace activists gathered in Washington to call on the Biden administration and Congress to press for a ceasefire in Gaza. Around 200 demonstrators stormed the Cannon House office building near the U.S. Capitol. The demonstrators urged authorities to put an end to the conflict. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.